live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's The Cube, covering Red Hat Summit 2017, brought to you by Red Hat. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of the Red Hat Summit here in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We are joined by Andre Baumgart and Dorothy Reinstraub of Swiss-based Easier AG. Easier AG is a uh, Swiss-based emergency room management company. Dorothy, tell us about the idea, where, where it started. I'm an MD and working in emergency rooms for several years now and I thought it's annoying how people have to wait if they want to be seen by a physician and I thought if I'm able to make an appointment for a hairdresser or just reserve a seat in a movie it should be able to make an appointment for a um, physician even in an emergency and that's why I came up with the idea it's like checking in in a hotel it's so easily done on your phone and I um, shared my ideas with my partners, Andre and Kai, and I thought it's something uh, worthwhile to pursue. That's how it came along. So, so you're, you're, you're physicians, and you saw this fr a problem from the, from the doctor side, from the provider side. Actually, I saw the problem from the patient side, because I'm trying to think for a patient. And I'm more relaxed if I have a problem myself. I'm more relaxed if I can sit at home and wait for an appointment, or if I know that one of the physicians will see me today, instead of trying to get there and just be sitting around an emergency room and waiting area. And, and what about the provider side, though? What, what is that like for you, too, as a physician, trying to make sure you're seeing the, all the patients that, that need you? I think um, one of the good thing about this um, app is as well, I can schedule my day. I can tell my employees what they will be expecting, what kind of patients. I can um, trigger or schedule the workload as well. And you can keep in touch with your patients. And I think that's a very important thing to be in touch um, with your patients and your employees. That's one thing too. So that was the problem you were trying to solve. Yeah. So, so tell me, after she shared this idea with you, so then where did you go next? What was, what was the next process in the, next step of the process? Uh, after we discussed uh, what to do with it and we sold it internally to the hospital's uh, management, but uh, unfortunately due to budgets and due to other projects, uh, strategically they decided not to do it. And then we said, hey, it's such a great idea to have a booking.com-like uh, emergency room scheduling system um, that you we should follow this, right? And should do it. And then we said, okay, let's start our own thing. And we discussed with whom we could do it and uh, we found uh, Kaya as a perfect partner and we said, okay, let's, let's do it together. And so the company started essentially and um, that, that was the foundation of Easier AT then, yeah. And then, and, and as you said, you couldn't find necessarily the money, the backing at first, so then you said, where do we go? Where do we really now take this to the next level? And how did, how did you get involved with Red Hat? I know Red Hat for quite some time through the open source community. I myself did development in the Chabos community. So I know Red Hat quite well for several years and I know that the stack and the technologies they used evolved over time. And now with the announcement of these uh, self-service OpenShift platforms, this was a, actually, or is a revolution for the technolo technology uh, side. And then, I saw last year the Innovation Lab announcement and uh, I... The light bulb went off. <laughs> right, and then I said, <laughs> actually we tried for several months to find a partner that could support us in a very structured and modern way. Um, and then uh, I said, okay, let's try this. I mean, uh, they are a big company, maybe we are too small for them, but uh, I, I emailed uh, the Innovation Lab people and I got feedback. and. We met for a discovery session and uh, the people were so nice, so engaging, so challenging also that uh, in the end we came up with, uh, with the plan for this innovation lab. Uh, so share with us a little bit about those early days. As you said, they were challenging you. What, what kind of questions were they asking? Because that is the whole point, is that they're trying to figure out what your minimum viable product could look like. So what kind of questions were they asking you? How were they pushing you forward? I think you have to answer that. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm, the discovery session is there to really validate that the 
the solution is sound, that it has a market potential, and that, that you have a potential to solve this within a short time in, in form of a minimal viable product uh, in order to show that this prototype really solves the problem. And Red Hat, Red Hat has the technology then to scale this up to a really market solution. And uh, that, that was the struggle to really validate, is this MVP able to do within this short time, A, eh? And then we, he, they challenge us as people, you know, are these guys really, can they do that? Uh, and can they market it in the end? Because, I mean, doing it for fun might be nice for yeah. some time, but it's not really our goal. And that, that was the first challenges they made. Then we did co conceptualize the user journey from a medic perspective and also from a user perspective, patient perspective. And then we found out, okay, this, this might make sense to do it in an innovation lab matter, okay? And this was really um, a very sound approach. We had half a day of a workshop um, and it was actually perfect to map our ideas, to map the criteria they, you have for this approach and then um, we found together. Yeah. So, so, so after the discovery process, and 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 persuading, I guess, the Red Hat people yeah. that you are the right people, that you are you are in fact the right team to bring this product to to, to fruition. How how did it work? What were you actually doing at your time at the lab? We went to Waterford, Ireland, uh, for three days. Normally, there the uh, innovation labs are, I think, three or four weeks, so that was really a special for us. Um, we went there, Andre, me, uh, we had three developers of our own um, at the site, and I think about 12 people from Red Hat, um, I think the best ones, they really could get us. And um, we started early in the mornings, the whole day was scheduled, uh, we had, um, we built our um, case we wanted to do, and um, you have to help me with the right words. Um, yeah, we did essentially uh, what is called an event storming. Yeah, event right. storming is what happens, uh, what is really the app doing step by step in terms of a user experience from the patient and the hospital or the, the doctor side. side. And then this event storming leads to a big board of what is happening as a process. And you do that iteratively four or five times during one or two days in order to really engage all of the different levels of people from the developer to the business owner. And so as well as from the Red Hat side, as well as from our side, the developer. So everybody's engaged in this process. And this is, I think, the innovative idea that you do not have a waterfall like, uh, some people sit together and do it, and then you hand it over to the developers. You bring them together and you discuss it and make the case their own thing. And then they are fully engaged in realizing the product. And that, that was really the innovative part. When, when you told me that we are going to be at an innovation lab, I thought, why me? What shall I be doing there? They're all tech guys. I don't understand the <laughs> word you're saying. That's nothing really for me. And But I really um, saw it through quite um, fast because it really makes sense that the business partners or the person who has the idea in head is there because you can really interfere very well and very fast and to get to the point what is needed. And it was really, it made sense to be there the whole time. It, it is very important that because you could see that sometimes the ideas were flowing mm -hmm. apart from the original business idea and that we were all people in the room together. You could ultimately control in every direction where this is heading. And so we, we, we had a really intensive two days in order to figure out how this event and system really should work uh, as as, as part of the innovation lab and then as, as, as a product for the MVP. Well that is so much of what we're talking about here at Red Hat. It's not just the tech, it's also how do people get into a room and get work done together yeah. and, and, and solve the problem that they're setting out to solve. And I think that you were talking about how you were in the room thinking why, why am I here? But in fact you are the you're representing the user from both the patient perspective, understanding what it's like to be in an emergency room, and also the doctor perspective. Right. Yeah. So how would you sort of bring it back and say, hey, remember what we're, we're doing here, remember the problem we, tr we set out to solve? 
most of the time I listened, mm -hmm. um, but then when I thought, no, that's not going the direction I wanted to be, or we wanted to be, I just stood there, held my hands up and said, no, we have to do it the other way. Or I think that's not going to work, or that's not the MVP. And they really, they understood us very fast. And um, at the beginning, it was fascinating to see the Red Hat people and our own developers. Everybody wanted to do it their style, because they really are both very good. And it didn't take much time to combine them. And they really worked as a team. And everybody got one up step, and it was nice to see. And I think it wasn't a problem to tell them what we think we should be needed. And at the end, I think we even got more than we discussed as an MVP. Exactly. After the three days. Okay, yeah. so so three days, you have the MVP. Where do we stand now with this, with the easier AG? We have an MVP after three days in Waterford. We figured out what to implement in sprints, and then after four, six weeks, we came out with uh, with MVP. That is essentially an app on, an, on a smart device uh, for the doctor as well as the patient. And um, this is now working, as we presented yesterday in the, in the keynote. Right. Um, it, this is really a, a valid product as it is, and this can be applied uh, now to a healthcare trust right. or institution. So if somebody wants to really use that, they can do it, because it's really working on an open shift. Red Hat uh, innovative platform, right? And uh, you can ultimately push the button and uh, roll it out. I mean, this this is really working. So, and um, of course, what we have to do is uh, user validation. So, in terms of is the user experience really uh, perceivable independently for the users? This is something user testing we are doing right now uh, in order to to make it really perfectly user friendly. And also for the nurse side uh, and the doctor side that they can really use it easily. That, that That's one of the most important things. And do you have, have you, are you, it's using it at a hospital in Switzerland, countries around the world have different approaches to healthcare, different approaches to the emergency room. Um, how, are you talking to other places about implementing this in other countries, in other we are, parts of the I world? Think we all have the same problems in healthcare, um, it doesn't matter where you live or where you work. I think it's all the same, the same problems. And when you need emergency time, care, you we, need care. Yeah, you want to be taken care of and you want to be there really fast and you don't want to repeat every time the same sentences and the same problems to four or five people. And so, yeah, we're talking to health institutions at the moment in Switzerland and Germany, but we hope to get there out soon in other countries as well. And I think this summit has opened many doors and windows, and we're looking forward to the future. Yeah, the, the process itself, that's the good thing, is totally independent of the context of our country. Uh, it, it is the problem in any country or every country of the world. So uh, we have a, a common approach to that, and the only thing that needs to be changed is maybe uh, is, the, is the hospital willing to accept that uh, a certain automation takes place or not. And it can be fully automated, or it could be do, done manually, right? And this is the decision of the healthcare institution or the trust who wants to implement that. So we are flexible in that because of the technology of, of, Red, Hat. Uh, of Red Hat, because they provided a container that is, is, is really flexible in implementation, right? And that's so great. Andre, Dorothy, thank you so much <laughs> for your time. This has been really a lot of fun learning about your, your, your company's journey. Thank you Thank you much. so much Rebecca. for having us. I'm Rebecca Knight. Stay tuned for more from the Red Hat Summit.